Developments tonight on Account On To Investigation, we are learning more about a COVID-19 testing site under fire amid allegations of fraudulent testing and unfair trade practices. News 2's Sophia Desasur has been following the story. And Sophia, one of the Center for COVID Control's 300 locations was right on Clements Ferry Road. Brendan Carolyn, our story first aired on Wednesday, and since then I have received calls and emails from people who are questioning the results they were handed and the personal information they coughed up in return. And get this, our investigation revealed the company at the center of this controversy has raked in more than $100 million in federal reimbursement funds. I was, I was stressed out. I was worried. Was I making my family sick if I did have COVID? Like many, Kathy Young and Tara Son were desperate for tests amid the holidays. I did an online search to see where COVID test sites were. It was one of the local mom's pages. People had promoted that site and said, you know, hey, this place is quick. They visited the Center for COVID Control site off of Clements Ferry, tucked behind a shopping center and operating out of an open garage. So they had a card with QR code that you had to scan, and then you were instructed to take a photo of your driver's license and your insurance card and upload them to the app. Son also used the QR code to register before deciding to get tested elsewhere. As I was standing in line, I get a call from my brother-in-law, who's a physician in the area, and he told me I could just come to his office and he could run the COVID test along with just a viral panel and tell me if you don't have COVID, you do have this. And so I just left. That's why Son was shocked to see an email later that evening with a negative result for a test she never took. It included a timestamp of when the test was taken and when it was processed. I was surprised. I was like, well, that's interesting. Um, I never got tested there, so how do you have a result for me? Young and Son are just two of hundreds of people across the country lodging complaints against the Center for COVID Control. The Oregon Department of Justice, Illinois Attorney General, and multiple other states have opened investigations into the company, which has been given an F rating by the Better Business Bureau. Well, my concern is uh, were they actually using real tests? Uh, and what are they going to do with my personal information? So were they primarily just trying to be reimbursed for these tests or were they selling the information online to other people? According to South Carolina health officials, the site isn't certified to operate in the Palmetto State. And despite requirements, not a single test result has been reported to the agency. It is maddening that people would do that and, and put other people at risk. Our investigation revealed the company's partner lab who processes their results, Doctors Clinical Lab, has received $122 million in federal reimbursement funds for testing the uninsured. Young and Son are eager to see the investigations into the company and its motives unfold. I would like to see this pursued uh, and ensure that this can't happen again to somebody else. We reached out to the Center for COVID Control several times, but never heard back. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, they regulate testing sites, say they're actively investigating numerous complaints. The Charleston site has been closed since Friday, citing efforts to, quote, retrain staff. They're slated to open on Saturday. Reporting live in studio, Sophia Desasur, Count on Two.